We're asked to identify the graph of f of x, f prime of x, or the first derivative, and f double prime of x, or the second derivative. Remember, the sign of the first derivative indicates whether the function f of x is increasing or decreasing, and the sign of the second derivative indicates whether f of x is concave up or concave down. So whether we've been finding derivatives using the limit definition of the derivative, or the power rule, when determining the derivative of a polynomial function, the degree drops by one when we find the derivative. So we take a look at the given functions. Notice how we have a linear function, which is a degree one function. We have a quadratic function, which is a degree two function. And we have what appears to be a cubic function, which would be a degree three function. And therefore, the original function f of x is going to be the cubic function, or function b. And now let's verify this by first determining where f of x, or function b, is increasing and decreasing. Starting on the left, notice how function b or f of x is decreasing until we reach the relative minimum. Then the function starts to increase until we reach the relative maximum. And then on the right, the function begins to decrease again. Which means the first derivative must be negative on the left, positive in the middle, and negative on the right. So looking at function a and function c, Notice function a is negative over the same interval where function b, or f of x, is decreasing. And also, function a is positive over the same interval where function b, or f of x, is increasing. And function a is also negative, again, on the right, where function a, or f of x, is decreasing. This indicates that function a must be f prime of x or the first derivative. And now to analyze the concavity of function b or f of x. Starting on the left, notice function b or f of x is concave up when x is less than zero, and function b is concave down when x is greater than zero, or on the right. So if we compare this to the sine of function c, the linear function, Notice how function c is positive when x is greater than zero, which is the same interval where function b, or f of x, is concave up. And function c is negative when x is greater than zero, which is the same interval where function b, or f of x, is concave down, which verifies function c must be the second derivative, or f double prime of x. Before we go, let's also verify that where the second derivative is positive, the first derivative is increasing, and where the second derivative is negative, the first derivative is decreasing. So now we're just gonna look at function a, the first derivative, and function c, the second derivative. Well, notice where function c, or the second derivative, is positive, the first derivative is increasing. This is when x is less than zero. And where the second derivative is negative, the first derivative is decreasing. I hope you found this helpful.